I'm the king of Napa! Napa is one of the most famous wine regions in the world with over 450 wineries and tasting rooms. I'm gonna show you four of the most unique wineries in all of Napa Valley. Don't be confused. This is not some Game of Thrones castle in one of the Seven Kingdoms. Castello di Amorosa exists right in the heart of Napa Valley. What in the... Oh, who goes there? It's Matthew, King of San Francisco. Well then, come on in, Matthew, King okay. of San Francisco. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> I am here at Castello di Amorosa on top of the estate's 121,000 square foot castle, which took 15 years to build. Why build a castle in the middle of Napa? It's Why a not? huge undertaking. <laughs> Could you please pass the salt? Dario Satui is the one who did it. And his original plan, he was gonna build kind of a small Tuscan farmhouse. And instead of building like a 12,000 square foot farmhouse, he ended up building a 121,000 square foot castle. From dungeons and drawbridges to feather boas and beakers, Raymond Vineyards gives a modern take on the traditional winery and lets you create your very own special blend of wine in their laboratory. Welcome to the Raymond Vineyards Winemaker for a Day, where we're going to guide you on the art of blending wine. Now, I got a D plus in chemistry, so will that be an issue when I'm making my wine? It could be, okay. but <laughs> the plus shows me you like to show some effort. I notice a lot of people when they're first tasting wine do a little gargling thing with their mouth. What is that all about? Yeah, so the idea with wine is it's really tight and you want to get a little oxygen to it. And a gargle, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> now that you've created your masterful blend and you've bottled your wine, we have a little treat for you. I mean, who cares about what's on the inside? I really think it's all about the label. Like many, I don't always know what to pair with my wine. So I headed to Robert Sinsky Vineyards for their farm to table food tasting. So let's start with something with the Abraxas. Beautiful Alsatian inspired blend. These tartlets, it's just a pretty much of a nice flaky pie dough. That alone is gonna sort of contrast that nice butteriness with the acidity in the wine. Underneath, there's a ricotta in it. There's a little roasted poblanos. We've got a nice wood fire oven, so we roasted them in there. And then a little fresh dill from the garden. We try not to overcomplicate the food because the wine is just a nice, honest expression of everything that we're growing. We try to be strategic. Wait a oh, minute. Go on. <laughs> That's delicious. Good, thank you. I picked up some souvenirs and decided to drop a few bottles off at my hotel. Wow, it looks like you've had a busy day. Where have you been? <laughs> I have been all over the place in Napa. Where did I go? I went to a castle where I was basically king for a day. Then I went to this lab at Raymond where you get to mix your own wines. It's incredible, you have to do it. Wow. But I still have room in my basket, so where else should I go? Have you been to any caves yet? I didn't even know they had caves in Napa, so no, I have not. 90 feet underground. Stop it. You need to go to Caldwell Vineyard. All right. There's no way I'm going into any cave unprepared. Once I geared up, I headed out for my next wine tasting. Hey, I'm here for the cave tasting. It's not that kind of cave, buddy. Yes, people love drinking wine in a cave, but they really come here to chat with owner John Caldwell. He's quite the character. So this is our drinking wine. What do you mean? What does that mean, drinking wine? Isn't it all drinking wine? It's all drinking wine, but then there's some wines where you, you, you don't talk about it, you know? You're not, Wow, see, this see, is a great wine. Yeah. See, that is really refreshing because many of these vineyards you go into and you can sit and talk about their wine for about an hour and you haven't even had a sip. But you're like, let's just and move go, on and drink it. On, it's let's, good. Yeah, yeah what does it taste like for God's sake? <laughs> let, me, let me do something okay. for you here. You got the first sip, so yeah. I'm gonna give you a little, give it a little, like a decant okay. really fast. This, Get some air. I've never ever seen this in I my life. I thought you'd love that. You're a very fabulous. interesting man and I thank you. Well, you're fun too. Well, Napa, you've been good to me. Okay, now I think I go this way. Yeah, this is right, this is the exit. Yeah. Nope, nope, that's not it. 